Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's Eden Day, and uh, we all know what that means. Probably some terrible run. No, this is a great run. I'm a happy man. And Cellar 1, so we good. Chariot, Invincibility, and Contact Damage. Oh, my fire rate's bad. How sad. Since uh, Magic Mushroom manages to not actually be in all stats up and doesn't increase tiers the way it uh, might imply. Spawned with a bad fire rate, and that is okay, since I got good damage. Yeah, I was going to say, I probably two-shot these guys, so this room won't be as bad as it could be. It normally is. But recently, uh, most, and by most I pretty much mean every single Eden run I've started, has started garbage in some way, and that way has not improved, either like damage or tears or whatnot, so I'm hoping that this one's different. Because I'm, you know, not into the idea of just getting constant near unwinnable runs. Not like actually near unwinnable, but like they're so dumb. Recently. Oh, this is an excellent item. 1.5 damage up. Uh, tears are now nails. And uh, my tears now have more knockback. Wow, what a lunge. Hope that they don't attack me. Alright, we're good. Can someone give me a bomb? Like, if you don't mind. Just, if it's convenient, perhaps. Don't care about having two of diamonds. Like, I'm gonna go finish this floor real quick. So there wasn't a Tinsed Rock in here, just the Soul Heart. That's fine. Wow. Two shots are so real right now. Those guys have a lot of health. The big ones. Dang, man. Never bombs. That's alright, though. I don't need that tinted rock. It just thinks I need it. Has an inflated sense of self-importance. Alright. So I do a lot of damage still. but he has no chance and I get a good item out of this so now I have a cube meat blocks tears contact damage to enemies uh, seven per hit oh I have Kane's uh, Kane's eye that's cool it's fine trinket makes it so that uh, when I enter a new floor there's a chance which I think is 25, they might have buffed it, uh, percent, anyway, uh, to have the compass effect for the entire floor. No thanks, don't care about Zodiac. I do want this, though. Opens up all the secret rooms. All the entrances and exits for them. Pretty nice. Never bomb, man, never bomb. Say I probably one shot these dudes, and indeed, there you have it. Alright, well, I'll just carry around the Emperor. It's unlikely that I end up using uh, the Magician anyway. I'd have to force myself to use it somewhere. Devils plus two damage, not bad. Alright, enough money that if I go in the shop, I could find a bomb there and it would be fine. Oh, never lucky. But I should be able to get one more scent this floor at least, right? Here's hoping, man. Here is hoping. Then maybe, just maybe, can make my way to whatever that uh, card is. Hey, a bomb. I don't believe it. This is actually unreasonable. Are you sure I'm playing the right game right now? Alright. Good. One damage up. If I get something that modifies my tiers, it'll be 0.2 tiers up. And if I get something that modifies my speed, it'll be 0.2 speed down. Uh, as you can see, the nails have turned bloody, which is really cool. 
Uh, I don't know when that happens, but I guess when I get anything that has blood on it, or adds blood to my character, maybe. Maybe it's part of a certain damage. But I know it happens with, like, the Pact, and apparently the small rock, and it's cool. I like it a lot. Sure, health up. Why not? Well, that's a nice, uh... Nice offer. Thank you, friend. Gonna go make my way to the curse room now. Hopefully, somewhere along the line, I can, you know, get some... Tears. Not worth it without having PhD. Thank you. You're a wonderful individual, just so you know. And so I'm one-third guppy now, which is nice. Got some crazy good damage. Crazy and good, but also crazy, like, crazy describing good. Thanks, I needed that. I didn't take betrayal because betrayal is bad. It's not actually bad, it's good, it's just really annoying to the point where it's bad. So that's uh, always good. Basically, it charms all the enemies in the room when you get hit, but it also puts up a, a knife on the screen every single time you get hit. It takes a while, and it's a really annoying animation. It just you never you never skip it. It's just you're stuck with it. Wow, two dimes. What are the odds? Low, by the way. Every dime is one in a hundred. So. That's always nice. So this is an XL floor. It means there are two item rooms, two bosses, but one of everything else. Well, twice as many regular rooms. Either way, it's bad, though. I lose a devil room. I lose a shop. I lose a curse room. I lose anything that isn't an item room or a boss room. And it's just sad every time. The sun, 100% worth it. Just to know what I'm working with. Wheel of Fortune. Alright, so I'm going to make my way to that far away item room first, and into this curse room as well, since it's right here and really easy to get to. I'm going to take the long way, because I need more chances for good drops. Because I need another key. Nice, three shots. Imagine if I had fire rate this run be unfair. That's why I can't. Can't be allowed to happen. I hope someone allows it anyway. You know, I get that one dude that's like, yeah, I'll break the rule for you. Sure. So far, not lucky. Easy rolls so far. That's quite tempting. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take that item, but I'm going to do one more room, get another card out of this, see what I get. Strength. No thanks. So I will go take this. Have blank card emperor. And I will get back to my business of rolling. That's a good item. I'm just rolling it anyway. Because I'm greedy. Alright, fine bad, but, you know, that's okay. Luck-based chance to fire out of the back of my head as well as the front. It only takes, like, two luck in order to activate uh, every single time. Hmm. I believe in there being a key anywhere in my life. Dang it. But I'll one-shot these guys. As I thought. Nice. Thank you. Now I just need to resist the temptation to use a key at every possible opportunity. I'd really like to go to the shop as well, but I need another key for that. Not to say I won't get one. Just 
the run so far has not left me with much faith that keys will be a common enough drop to go everywhere I want. Like, imagine if I would actually have had the opportunity, sweet, to uh, get two shops out of the caves. I never would have been able to pull it off. So Proptosis is a uh, damage multiplier, but it scales based on my tier's distance traveled relative to my range, I believe. It's 2.0 at the closest, and... 1.3 at the farthest, so it's always a significant damage up. But uh, my tears are, of course, getting smaller, and whenever they get to their smallest and disappear, it's gone. But it is good. No. Nice, I got a key. Would you believe it? I'm gonna clear this floor. So my damage right now is pretty ridiculous. Which is nice. And of course my tier hitboxes are quite uh, quite silly as well. A bit disjointed. You know, the ridiculous life. Wow, I didn't even one-shot that guy. What a cheater. Another key, this is why I'm full clearing, man. It's worth it. I haven't found the top secret room yet either, so I guess I gotta get on that. It's gonna be off one of those other rooms though. I'll get it. Because with the key luck I've had this floor, I am pretty into the idea of full clearing just in case. Oh, I thought I'd get the kill. And then I can just blank card my Emperor all the way back. Easy peasy. Or I can blank card Joker every floor. Oh my. Alright, so this 1.5 damage up, piercing tiers, 0.3 tiers down. And this is a respawn as Dark Judas. If I die, I'll have two uh, black hearts and uh, a two time, the 2.0 character damage multiplier. Pretty good stuff. If only I could have both cards, but I don't have a starter deck or a deep pockets. So I can't just hold on to both of those. Could have easily skipped a lot of distance by going through the secret room, but it doesn't matter. That's the thing. All right, so I get to go to the devil room every floor. That's good. And I'll just do it right away, because it's not like I'm, it matters if I'm going to earn it or not. I get to go no matter what. Head of Krampus, no thanks. I'll go to the curse room. I'll bomb this chest. Let's see if it gives me... Nope. But not better than Joker, so I get to keep the Joker for now. Dang dudes, taking three hits to kill when they'd totally die in one, if not four, splitting up in phases. Stars is nice, but just gonna not worry about changing my cards around. Having to backtrack anyway. Not worth. No thanks. And I would use a key for the black card, but there's just no real reason to. I actually don't honestly want the one up. It's just so rare that I feel bad not taking it. Alright, pick this up, even though I've already locked in Devil Room, so I don't have any reason to worry about that. Showing up again. It's cool. Alright, so this I can't skip for once. Don't have piercing or anything, or the spectral or anything. Alright, cool. 
Man, dude's taking three hits that would totally take one health-wise. Makes me sad. Alright, so we're gonna try and make boss rush. We got blank rune. Oh, God. Hagalaz. Made a huge mistake. Oh, God, I'm never gonna escape. Alright, that's good. Oh, all of those doubled, didn't they? So that means that none of them... Yeah, they all don't matter. That's fine. None of you matter. No one likes you anyway. Saves me a lot of effort, though. So, of course, the flies and spiders are really overpowered, since I'm really overpowered. Little Gish shoots uh, slowing tears, and I have no reason to go in there. I already went in there at the start of the floor. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna go in here. May as well open it since I'm just teleporting out. I will certainly buy Guppy's tail, which is a terrible idea, mind you, but I will do it anyway. And Guppy's tail will increase my drop rate of chests, decrease my drop rate of everything else. So remember how I didn't have any keys? Get used to it. Though apparently I got rather lucky and got one anyway right now. It's a marked improvement. For now, I actually should take this. Turns all chests into red chests. Uh, this is depths two. I don't really care for 20 coins. I do want to get that. Like me some red chests, man. Look at that. Got a soul heart. Remember, dying wouldn't be a bad thing. Because I would double my damage. Ish. Oh no, I actually would double my damage. If people that say Eden doesn't get a multiplier, but rather a uh, plus or minus 1.0 damage are to be believed. Which there are multiple of them, so I guess I probably should. So with the ability to have three soul hearts added to my life, I should uh, seriously consider dying rather immediately. By the way, I uh, picked up the habit, which is every time I get hit, I get one tick of charge for my use item. Pretty good dude. All right, so I need to die before I take that. Little Loki, no thanks. Who are you? The world. Alright, so I should get busy dying here. Makes sense. Alright, you'll do. And then I will pick up Guppy's collar, which will put me two thirds Guppy. Huh, it put me over here, even though it's uh, not here that I died. It's cool, though. Oh, that puts me all guppy. Oh, yeah, I picked up the paw at the start of the run. Forgot about that. So guppy gives me flight, and it makes it so that whenever I hit with a tear, I spawn a kamikaze fly that does twice my damage and gets stupidly overpowered very quickly. It'll be great. Okay, so I'm just going to do this because this is the last shop anyway. May as well take all of my money and put it in the donation machine so if I ever need some cash, I have an option. So I'm just going to keep with the red chests to reduce my temptation. Regarding... Uh, using keys. Holy light. Chance to shoot a tear that's uh, blue glowing like that. That hits an enemy, it does three times my damage. Ridiculously good. 
Love it. So yeah, this is going to be a massacre. Not even going to be fair, particularly. Tinted Rock in here as well. Pretty interested in that. But I'm a little busy at the moment. Kinda busy. As you can see. I can't possibly move. Or the balance will be upset. It's pretty good. That was quick. Mysterious liquid. Ah, dang, it doesn't work on the tears, but when my tears hit the ground, uh, they'll get some toxic stuff all over. Does some damage to grounded enemies. Good. Alrighty then. Of course, there are not very many grounded enemies the later in the game you get. So it doesn't get an opportunity to be particularly super useful, but it uh, you know, has its chance. I don't need you, thanks. I already did that without your help. Alright, some spiders that I totally need. Don't worry, they're really, really useful. Not even gonna go in there. And I need to like pretend to care about remembering to drop the left hand. But it won't matter if I remember or not. Man, that spider ate like half of my flies. I'll never get them back. I can't possibly spawn any more flies ever. It's too difficult. I don't have enough skill. It's skill based, you know. It only spawns flies if it thinks you're good enough to deserve them. Okay, for the tears up, I'll do it. It's tears up, shot speed down. Uh, it's health up by one. Tears up 0.7, shot speed down 0.16. Uh, but it was worth it for the 0.7 tears. Joker. Yeah, sure. One damage up. Uh, chance that my tears fear enemies on hit. Good stuff. fine if you want to die. It's just going to say talk about it, but I didn't mean that. Already found the boss. Boss is already dead. Uh, Hush will actually kill me, but I'll do it anyway. Ouch, I don't have like any keys. Curse the tower, when I get hit, I spawn troll bombs about the room. This is a good item. Iron bar, 0.3 damage up. And uh, when I hit enemies, there's a chance that it um, concusses them. And this is a good item as well. I lied. Not going to use the joker this floor. It's not really worth it. Uh, Kane's other eye bounces around does what it pleases. It attacks in whatever direction I'm attacking. Dang, you're not dying very quickly, are you, man? Okay, so the problem here is I really can't see what I'm dodging. And that's not really okay in this fight. But it's fine. So as you can see, I'm bypassing the damage capping pretty effectively. Oh dear. Ow. Too bad I don't have sad bombs. Otherwise, Curse of the Tower would be pretty fun. Okay, I think this will be fine. Yeah, this is fine. And then it's fine for the second one as well. And it's probably fine for the third, if it goes up or down. Probably fine for any of them. I like finding that spot where you don't have to move at all. Alright. 
Those guys are supposed to be invincible when they first spawn, by the way. Oh, I dodged into it. That was my own fault. But that's okay. We'll be fine. God dang it. It's fine. I don't think I can really die even if I want to. Yeah. So never mind. Hush wasn't too bad. Sucks about the Curse of the Blind, though. Is this a regular secret room? Of course it is. Alright, I'll take it. It's a lot of tears up. Oh, but it gave me a health up thanks to the mushroom transformation. That sucks. Uh, it's a bunch of tears up, but it's a 0.9 damage multiplier and then damage minus 0.4. Can't use him to get rid of my health. But the fire rate, with how much damage I already have, it's pretty worth it. Alright, I will drop the thing. And then let's see if perhaps there's something for health in here. Ah, excellent. So that gives me two black hearts and flight. Uh, well, it only gives me flight if I am at no red heart containers. Might be no filled red heart containers. If it uh, is giving me flight, as long as I am... Oh, I have no keys. Uh, as long as I'm in a fighting room every 40 seconds, it will give me... 10 seconds of invincibility. So that's cool. You know, good guy. This is two damage up. And, uh... Oh, I thought I was in a different room. And if I hold shoot for three seconds, when I let go, I'll spawn a black circle. It does a bunch of damage relative to my damage. Uh, somehow. And if it kills something, it has a chance to drop a black heart from that enemy. I wish I could see the map so I could, like, know that I'm full clearing. But no. You have to be able to get curses on the chest. It's totally not stupid in any way. Don't worry about it. I heard the top secret room. I did. So I'm gonna not. You know, I'm gonna kill everything. I got a key. Open this one because I'm here. Holy mantle. I can get hit once per room and it won't count. I'm gonna take this dude then. Oh, yeah, that would be great. That, uh, if a tier passes through it, it doubles that tier. And refreshes its range as well. So that's cool. Ugh. So basically, I just get double damage all the time if I want to work through that guy. I'm sure, that follows me on a three second delay. Uh, if it gets near something, it'll kind of go out of its way to attack it a little bit, I believe. Not that it'll get the opportunity to show that off. Rune bag drops a rune for me every uh, few rooms when it feels like it. Oh god, I'm lost now. So let's see. Here is that room. Here is this room. Just what I was hoping for. Man. I am just murder right now. Okay. I need a key drop, but it's cool. Probably not getting one. Even then, I'd need a battery drop too, which I'm also probably not getting. Oh, I could dupe that, but that also doesn't matter to dupe. Because I don't only get it like once. You need the battery and the key. Again, won't matter. But that's cool. So 
Let's see what these guys want to drop. Yeah, the luck up. Still don't shoot out of both uh, directions every time. Sucks. Okay, we're, we're done now, but we can open... Well, I guess I'll check these for luck ups. Nope. I'll open two chests in here. When I get hit, I spawn a kamikaze fly. One to three, maybe. And when I... Or, sorry, that item that I picked up after that, the rosary. That's three soul hearts, and if I... No, no if. It adds the Bible to a bunch of pools, like, a bunch of times. You're going to see it pretty much guaranteed. Tough fight. And that was... That's about it. But, like, that was the last item I was going to be able to pick up, so... Didn't matter. Mmm. Pretty good run, though. Pretty good. It was alright, you know. Maybe a 7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.